Welcome to Boots and Bounty Homestead. We are doing a collaboration for Tiffany at Mud and Mascara Homestead. This will be her very first collaboration, so I hope all of you guys check it out, as well as Tony from Kettle Kitchen. We are in the collaboration for Tailgate Time. You can see the hashtag listed below. I'll have the playlist below for all of the other collaborators and their videos. This goes from January 1st through January 31st, and there's going to be a live giveaway for all of the collaborators and anyone who likes and comments on any of the videos. The more chances you have to win, the more comments you make. The giveaway is going to be on February 4th, 2024 at 4 p.m. Pacific time. This is going to be on Toady at Kettle Kitchen's channel. I will have the channel listed below so you guys can go and click on that and set a reminder notification for that giveaway live. So let's get started with my recipe here. We are going to be doing a Chex Mix recipe that we have done a whole lot lately and we love sharing this recipe with you guys. It is one of our family favorites. You can use it for any party, holiday get together, or even a tailgate party, especially for the Super Bowl coming up. So we're going to start off with two sticks of butter and we're going to get those melted in the microwave. And while that's melting, we'll go ahead and get out the rest of our ingredients. And then to the butter, we are going to add one teaspoon of garlic salt or garlic powder, whichever you prefer, a half a teaspoon of celery salt, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and you're gonna mix that all together. In a separate bowl, we are going to add to that our dry ingredients. This would be about one to two cups of Cheerios, two cups of Kix cereal, two to three cups of Chex, and you can use rice, wheat, or corn, two cups of pretzel sticks, or a combination of twists and sticks, eight to 16 ounces of peanuts, any kind, any flavor, whatever you wanna add. Also, I didn't show here, but I usually like to add one to two cups of Cheez-Its, and you can also add a cup of garlic rye chips. Those are kind of hard to find, so I don't use those a whole lot. Once you mix all of your dry ingredients together, you'll pour over the butter and spices mix and then toss that very well. Once all of the mixture is coated, you will go ahead and pour it onto a cookie sheet. Now get your oven preheated at 250 degrees and spread this evenly out on a cookie sheet. We're going to then bake this for an hour, but we'll have to stir it at 15 minute intervals. You can either take it out, set it on your door, and lightly toss it around. And if you don't want to risk spilling anything, just go ahead and take it out and do it on the counter or stove. You see I have an extra pan in the bottom there. Emma likes the pretzels by themselves, so I try to do her one with mostly pretzels in it.
you want to toss this and make sure that all that butter is kind of disappearing from the bottom of the cookie sheet. And once it is almost gone, which will be nearing the one hour mark, then everything should look dry and it'll be ready to start cooling off. Once it cools off and it's easy to handle, you can store it in any kind of container. I just like putting it in a plastic bag because it's easy for everyone to grab, just open, get some, close it back, and it'll be good for, I've stored it up to about a couple of weeks, and it's as easy as that, guys, making your own homemade Chex Mix. You can do this in a trail mix style and put M&Ms in it or any kind of you know, chocolate candies or sweet candies or anything like that, raisins, any kind of dried berries, just whatever you want to make this into. It's great for any kind of recipe. Just add your favorites to it. I want to thank Tiffany and Tony for inviting me for this collaboration. It has been super fun seeing everyone's videos. Make sure you go check them out below. I've got the list listed out down below of everyone and their dates and then I've got the playlist that you can go watch everyone's videos and remember the giveaway on February 4th at 4 p.m. Pacific that will be for the giveaways of all the entries for the comments that have been made on the videos the more comments you make the better chances of winning so we will see you there guys thanks for stopping by we'll see you next time